I thought the team came out really strong. Florida was kind of getting our feet wet, um, so we had some good battles, but hadn't kind of put things together. I think what this team did well is they put a lot together very quickly, very early, which is a tribute to how hard they worked in the fall and in their preseason in February. And then California, we just kind of put things together. We had, you know, really solid pitching with both Rachel and Laura on the mound, coming out strong out of the gate. Defensively, they were drilled hard and ready to play pretty solid. And then we were just getting some timely hits. So we were able to pull off some big wins, a lot of wins, and have some really good success, I think, which added to their confidence. We started strong against Cornell and Princeton, and I thought the team really dug deep, I think, our first weekend. When you look at the previous year and we were 18-2 and two in conference, they're like, okay, how do we better this? And I think they said, okay, let's try to go undefeated. And you know, I think losing a game that first weekend kind of set a tone of, look, every single game is going to be a hard battle for us in conference. Everybody's gunning for us. We got to bring our A game. You know, we've got to do everything we can to battle these teams really tough. Penn was a great team this year. I thought they really battled hard in, in the addition of um, their pitcher, uh, Borden, was terrific. She really, you know, I think obviously led them to a South Division Championship and so it was a pitcher's duel that first game and I think the difference in the game was defense. I think back-to-back -back Ivy titles are tough to do. Um, we knew, this team knew they had a level of success and confidence to do it so it's a matter of you know could we you know maintain a high level of standard in our play, could we maintain our wellness and, and, you know, be injury free. It was a great representation of Harvard athletics and a great representation for the league just to show what a strong level we can play at. And, you know, we deserve to be on the field with all of those teams. And I think it was a good tribute to our team to see how far we grew from last year's regional and what we learned and how we were able to kind of raise our level, having been exposed at the regional before to that you know, speed of the game and, and strength of the game and the girls really saw what, what they needed to do and they really bought into that. Rachel is just a gem. I mean, she helped. There's no question that all of her work and her effort helped get Harvard softball to, you know, a higher level. Rachel does a great job as the underdog and I think going in there and really digging in and challenging those batters at regionals, you really saw her flourish. And I think it was a great way to cap off a four-year career and to see her growth from her freshman year to her senior year. Jane just worked hard and said, you know, I'm going after it this year. It's my last season of play. I'm putting it all on the line. She worked hard. She trained herself mentally. She was in a good place to really take the reins as a senior. And she just had a breakout year for us, which we needed that leadership. Um, so we were really thrilled that she got co-player of the year. All the Ivy accolades speak to how competitive the team is. Like everybody's making everybody better. And I think there's great support within the team and there's a great work ethic among the team and a great culture that, you know, we want to we want to maximize our potential as individuals and as a team. And I think when there was a lot of awards, they they recognized everybody's contribution to Harvard's success this year. 